I do remember one of your comments from last year, and you saying that it was hot in the building kind of reminded me of this. Uh huh. There was uh, at least one person there mm-hmm. who forgot to wear deodorant that morning. Ah, uh, yes, I remember this. Uh huh. Like I imagine smelling like comic book guy in The Simpsons smells. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like when you think incel and a scent comes to mind, that was what I smelled. All right. <laughs> maybe that was the actual name of the Axe body spray he put on that morning. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Because the names are getting out of control. So I, fun fact about me. You ready for this? Since I was 17, I've used the same deodorant. And it's wow. always been available anywhere I've gone, but it's becoming less and less available. So I know I'm going to have to switch at some point. If you're wondering what flavor it is, it's Old Spice Classic Fresh Scent. Not what? original scent, fresh scent. Flavor? Yes. I like it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Give your pit a little tongue bath. <laughs> um, so you got to see this picture of deodorants at Walmart. Look at the... Okay. So speaking of Old Spice, you know, maybe I'm a Virgo and I'm loyal to a particular brand. And can I throw out really quick? Any women's deodorant that's called a fresh scent always smells just gross. Yeah. Like it smells like powdered baby's butt. Yeah. Right. You know? Why do they have to make women's stuff powdery and men's stuff... I saw a charcoal one. Yeah. It's always like dark ice. <laughs> yeah. Dragon taint. <laughs> yeah. Kraken guard. Yeah. Bear glove. Either that or berg love. <laughs> berg love? Night panther. Shark hammer. Mamba yeah. king. Raptor strike. Alpha centauri. Dragon blast. Well, and can I mention how much of men's deodorant is... Not really scent based, it's temperature based. It's always cool or fiery or something like that. Yeah, smoky. Or, I mean, it sounds like they just had a random name gen- generator with uh, a uh, apex predator. Yes. And um, <laughs> an action word. Yes. You know? Yeah. Or a feeling. Yeah. But the cold one, I, you know, like I don't want to smell like a bad boy on Christmas. <laughs> Maybe I do. But um, it <laughs> it reminds me of a um, an old general manager I had, and he was a short dude. How tall uh-huh. are you? Five five. I'm five five. Yep. I bet he was maybe even a little shorter than you. Ooh, five four, short king. So I would walk into his office, and every time I'd crack up because, first of all, he had this huge truck, and I, I don't think I ever saw him get in it. But I bet it had one of those ladders that came down. It had to have like that little extra step when you open the door. <laughs> had to have. Like he drove it with a block of wood on his foot, like short round in Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. I've actually gotten into a really big truck before. Hang on, Indy. <laughs> and I remember like looking up into it and being like, how does anyone do this? I had to hoist myself up like a toddler getting onto a dining room chair. But this general manager had on his wall, d- directly behind him, by the way, it was a big poster of like a leopard, uh-huh. like with his teeth showing. Whoa. He had, do you remember the Hulk hands when those were popular? Right. Uh-huh. He had those. He just had, he had a copy of the Art of War in his bookshelf. Funny. Like it was all staged. So that you knew this was a man's office. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. To prove that he was a big man. <laughs> and one time I went in there with, um, I don't know, a coworker. And we sat down and he had gotten a new thing. I don't remember what it was. Probably a samurai sword letter opener or something, you know. His office was just so violent. And I, <laughs> Every and, time you walk in, you're that meme. Oh, we got a badass over here. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> and, I, and I pointed at it when he was looking, with the GM was looking at a computer. So I was like, this is going to one. <laughs> Nobody else found that as funny as I did. How? How can you not? But if you need, de- my whole point is, if you need deodorant to feel like a man, if you need Night Panther, this what's the one, the one from Anchorman, the cologne that uh, right. Paul Sex Rudd Panther. puts on, Sex Panther. Uh-huh. 60% of the time, it works every time. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> yeah, if you need that to feel like a man, <laughs> what did you nothing s- will make you feel like a man. What did you say earlier? Crack and taint? <laughs> oh, dragon taint. Dragon taint. <laughs> You know, I actually heard this phrase once where um, (laughs) this guy was talking to his wife and he's like, I just like, I need you to make me feel like a man. And she said something like, well, I can't make you feel like something you're not. Oh, and honestly, that's the thing. Like, no one can make you feel a certain way. 
If you're so concerned about feeling like a man, none of these items will make you feel like a man. That comes from the inside, my guys. <laughs> 